Madonna hit the gym to celebrate the grand opening of Hard Candy in Toronto, and 50 lucky fitness buffs got the chance to sweat it out alongside the material girl. You look phenomenal in real life, I just have to say that right off the bat. And along. So do you. Oh, thank you. Did we get that? Because that's just reached the highlight of my life. Fitness fanatics spent the entire day practicing Madonna's signature routine. But the journey just to get there was even more arduous. I love the fact that you made uh, people audition to be a part of your uh, your workout tonight. Yeah. Because, because these people are going crazy. No, you got to keep up. People have been training for months and months for this. So it's based on dedication, hard work. We've been planning this event in the, our workouts, practicing the dances we're going to do tonight. So we have a lot of energy leading up to it. Someone had said two, two weeks ago, you'd be flown all the way to Canada, Toronto, and be dancing with Madonna. I don't think I would have believed them. What inspired you to make these type of workouts for people? Uh, they're the workouts I like to do. Yeah. So we've modified them for people. What I try to do when I'm getting to know people, making friends, dating a guy, whatever, I always say, come to my workout. Really? And test them. See see what you know, see if they can hang. What's a first date workout like with Madonna? Um Sometimes they end up going to the bathroom and puking. Health and fitness was on her mind, but Madge was eager to address the controversy surrounding the Sochi Olympics and the country's strict anti-gay laws. As the world's coming together thanks to technology, we have to become more tolerant. We're getting closer and closer to each other, and we have to become more open-minded. Tolerance, acceptance, the opposite of discrimination, um, uh, those things... They have to. They have to happen. And, and the Olympics is supposed to be a symbol of people getting together, right? Come from all over the world. We can't just get together and do sports and ski and ice skate. We have to get together and care about one another as human beings. In the monuments, man, a World War II platoon is on a mission to retrieve stolen art from the Nazis. The flick features an incredible cast that are also on a mission to sell their movie. Just one day after the Milan premiere, the stars of the Monuments Man landed in London. Ocean's castmates Matt Damon and George Clooney teamed up yet again thanks to a little thing called blackmail. I threw raging temper tantrums and I smashed more than one trailer. Um, it was really hard for George to work with me. He just I just have these photographs of him from a long time ago. And uh, so he keeps he keeps putting me in his movies. George Clooney is the star, writer, and the director of the film, so he has a lot riding on its success. But whether it fares well in theaters or not, he's just proud to bring the bio flick to the big screen. It wasn't as much about pieces of art per se as it was about uh, a dictator trying to steal people's culture and their history. And I thought that was sort of a fascinating thing to talk about. And and what a brave thing to see these men and women do to bring it back. What have you got? I seem to have stepped on a landmine. Why did you do something like that? What do you got? Lieutenant here seems to have found himself on top of an unexploded mine. Why would you do that? You all have been spending too much time together. As always, we want to hear from you. All you have to do is find us on Twitter and tweet us at NCity.